Uh, no, there's a big fish on there. Oh boy. All right, good afternoon. Finally, it, I think we're gonna make it out to the river today. Those of you that uh, follow our channel and watch our videos in hopes of seeing flathead catfish on bank poles, we apologize to you. We normally would be doing a lot more of that, but here in Iowa where we fish, we are in a drought and we've been in a drought since probably July of last year, 2020. Um, and the rivers just, they've never recovered, never gotten better. We haven't got enough rain to fill them up. So we really can't get on with our boats. We actually went out last week traveled about three and a half hours or so to try to find a river that had just a little bit more water in it and I ended up uh, finding a sandbar because it was unfamiliar territory and I plugged my motor with sand um, enough that I we didn't feel it was worth it any longer and we pulled out of there and so it was a you know kind of a flop a failed trip so this week I don't know if you can see it or not but we've got the kayaks stacked and loaded in the back um, Spencer and I are going to float from one ramp to another and uh, we're going to fill in 10 bank bowls where we can find it. This river is shallow but we should be able to squeeze some spots in um, with our kayaks, uh, find the deep holes and just hope for the best. The flathead should be fired up, it should be the right time of year, it's just with these low rivers we really don't know what to expect but we're going to give it the, the best shot we can. and. You never know, we might pull out a monster in the kayaks and that would be a blast. So, thanks for watching. Okay, and so we are in a, in terms of how low the river is, a pretty good spot. If you can see the other bank pull out over there, found a really good little area here, kind of a little lay down. We're gonna stick another tree here and, or I'm sorry, stick another bank pole here by this tree. And there's some stuff down there, but probably got actually about three foot of water here, which is, Kind of amazing we've been floating in about a foot of water so we're gonna set this thing up see what we can make happen our last bank pole swimming right there in the water we found some pretty decent spots 10 spots and uh, we'll be back in the morning we're exhausted we worked hard for whatever flathead we find but we're feeling good about it so see you in the morning all right we are on the river lines out I think it's snagged pole number one Looks like it might be snagged. Uh, no, there's a big fish on there. Oh boy. We got a fish on here. 
<laughs> oh boy. I don't know, man. I might fall in here. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, got it. <laughs> Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, monster flathead. Holy, holy smokes. He's going to kill me. Wow. This is our first pole, and we got a nice, nice dark flatty. Man, we're crazy. We're unorthodox. And every now and then, things pan out, you know? That is a beaut. That is just so dark. Yeah, that's incredible. So dark. Right there. Look at that monster. Woo! Kayak flathead on bank poles in a low river. That's beautiful. That is probably one of the darkest flatheads I've ever seen. He is blending with his territory. That's awesome. 33 and a half pound flathead right here. Beautiful fish. Super awesome coloration. And I'm floating away. All right, I'm gonna try to get it in the water here. CPR, baby. We'll see you next time, pal. Gone. She goes. Give me some nucks, brother. <laughs> All right, coming up on pool number two. We got a little flathead on here. A little guy. Oh, give me a bath. It's just a little buddy. Two for two, though. That's a good way to start it out. We're going to get this swan unhooked and get our pole and head downriver. All right. Coming upon pole number three and... A ways up the river, I could see significant movement on the pole. So we definitely have a fish on here. That line is out and it is taunt. All right, we're at pole number three. Brent's just pulling up and we got a little bobbin. We have not seen this one yet, so we don't know what we have. There we go. It's got more weight than the last one. It's a decent, it's a decent it's fish. Good. Yeah. We deemed this place the spider tree last night. No. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, man, it's kind of dark too. Oh, that's a nice, yeah, that's a cool colored fish, man. Probably 15 to 18 pounds, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Might push 20. Good looking fish. It's a beautiful fish. Nice color pattern. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. I mean, we, we couldn't create camouflage that looked better than that if we wanted to. That's awesome. Back she goes. Or he. I'm guessing small female, but could be a male. Ooh. <laughs> Look at the wicky tail. See ya, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, there's some weight here. Well, not that much. Pretty good one. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's taking off. <laughs> See you later, bud. <laughs> not, as, oh. <laughs> not as big as the first, a little bigger than the second, or the third one. Oh. Got it. Yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. That's a good fish. Check out these 10 foot poles. Part of the reason they were created. Look how much further.
further out into the shallow river we can get. You know, the other bank poles you can find are, they're gonna come to about right here probably. You're not catching anything there. That's what makes these so good. Flathead oh, number four. Nice fish. Nice Let's get fish. a little more of that pale yellowish color. Not as dark as some of the other ones. Beautiful fish though. And he uh, he took me to oceans of fun. <laughs> I was on a little ride there and I am wet. Man. All right, back to the river. Opening so splash shoes so you can get some of that. So, I'm good. Air pound. All right. <laughs> 